Yo, what what's up? What's popping? How's it going? Cause guess what? There's a parade inside my city. 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 This is a parade inside my city, yeah. Um, that's all the lyrics I know, but that's okay. Cause it's a parade, parade inside my, my city, city yeah. yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I've been gone for a minute, but guys, I just ain't got no motivation. And I don't know what to post. Like, I'm running out of ideas. I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do an infinity zoom. Yeah. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Precompose your picture. Come up here to your pen tool to find out where you want the zoom to be. So I was thinking his mouth. And we're just going to mask around the loop. You're gonna go back to your selection tool. Duplicate this, control D, you're gonna press M two times, and you're gonna press invert. So it's Inverted. You're gonna duplicate this one without the mouth in the middle. How many times do I say your heart desire? Make everything a 3D layer and of course turn on motion blur because if you are editing without motion blur, you aren't doing it right. It's already bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, sometimes you need the hard truth. Okay? And this is that. If you don't have motion blur on your edits, it's an automatic F. You have the right equation, but the answer is wrong okay right here where it says idle camera go to the left to the left to the left what we're gonna do is we're gonna send all of these pictures backwards select it go to this one where it says z and then just go back okay now do that with all of them go right here and you're gonna change it back to active camera and look at it now Y'all yeah. keep in position, go down some, and then we're gonna bring it down. Now highlight F9 to easy ease, go to your graph, we're gonna go to our value graph. It's all wonky like this, like what? It's okay, this is your X, Y, and Z position. All you gotta do is right click on position right here, separate dimensions, and you're met with all of this. Get rid of your X, you can get rid of your Z, but you're gonna keep your Y. Right click, press new, and then you're going to create a camera layer. Um, you can copy my settings. Nice. Press OK. Right click, press new again, and then you're going to create a null layer. Make sure your null is a 3D object, and you're going to parent your camera to your null. Bring up position, and then we're going to hold shift, and bring up rotation scale um that's about it go down here I'm going to zoom in and then we're going to adjust it and all the way and of course you're gonna you're probably gonna have something back here like i don't know whatever you want text not the picture i'm not gonna do all that because this is about the infinity zoom okay not not what's behind the infinity zoom okay <laughs> that's for you to do and you know you can also do like a rotation if you wanted to rotate i'm just gonna get rid of all of that i like f9 graph and then we're going to change this to a speed graph I'm gonna highlight and i'm gonna drag these to make it a mid graph so i don't mind how mine goes to the corner a little bit i actually kind of like that so fix and presets we're gonna type in motion tile and we're gonna bring it to the first clip right here we're just gonna put 500 to 500 turn on mirror edges so if you use this make sure you tag me because i want to see that's the end of the video i hope i can help you guys if you have anything you want me to do any requests let me know please because i'm i don't know what to do no more y'all but we have a good morning good night good evening good afternoon and until next time i'll see you guys later Oh man, it says, please do not touch the gumballs. Why are they there then?